Hi everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview and some benchmarks on this new SSD from Corsair. This is the Force GS. We're going to start off with a closer look at the retail box, but I should mention that this drive actually comes in a variety of capacities. It's available in 180, 240, 360 and 480 gigabyte capacities. The version we have here is 240 gigabytes, so bear in mind with the benchmarks later on that these only really pertain to the 240. Generally speaking, you will get a bit better benchmark results if you're testing higher capacity SSDs. That being said, this is a SATA Revision 3 drive, that's the SATA 3 right there, which means it can do 6 gigabit per second or it can at least connect to an interface that's capable up to, of up to 6 gigabits per second transfer speed. This one happens to be able to hit 555 megabytes per second with reads and 525 megabytes per second with writes. Apart from that, it's a 2.5 inch solid state drive, so it has no moving parts. And then uh, another spec listed right here, up to 90,000 input output operations per second, random write speed. If you're not familiar with IOPS or input output operations per, per second, it's typically only used when you're measuring the speed of SSDs. Um, it's just a really good metric to sort of accumulate how fast an SSD actually is. A little bit more information on the back, but I'll we'll pretty much leave it at that. But in case you're wondering, the specific part number here, CSSD F240GB GS-BK. Next up, let's take a look inside the retail box at what comes along with the draft. You have the Corsair warranty against defects right there, and uh, this is a two-year warranty from Corsair, so you can head over to the Corsair support website for more information on the warranty that comes with this product. You also get a 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch adapter, like so, so you can mount the drive right there and then you can mount this into a 3.5 inch drive cage in most standard computer cases, because not all computer cases have 2.5 inch drive mounts. Next up we have the drive, which is uh, in a little clamshell right here. So we have a couple little packs of screws, and that's to mount the drive to the, uh, the adapter here and to mount the adapter into your computer case. And then that about wraps it up. Next, we have the drive itself. Now, if you spend an inordinate amount of time with SSDs like I do, you might be familiar with Corsair's other SSDs, that being the Corsair Force 3 series. They have the Force 3 and they have the Force 3 GT. Uh, those SSDs come in a variety of capacities, and those SSDs also use the same con same controller uh, that's used in this one, which is by uh, Sandforce, uh, now known as LSI Sandforce, since they were acquired by LSI, and it's the SF2281 SSD flash controller. Um, the difference, really, between the Force GS right here and the Force GT or the uh, Force the Force 3 GT or the Force 3 is the NAND, the actual flash memory modules that are installed onto the circuit board that's inside this uh, housing. And that NAND for the Force 3 uh, was asynchronous IMFT NAND. For the Force 3 GT was synchronous IMFT NAND. And this is actually using toggle mode NAND by SanDisk. It's 24 nanometer toggle mode uh, NAND flash memory and uh, Corsair decided that they could probably get a bit of better performance by going with that type of NAND rather than the NAND that was used in their other series of drives, so much so that they decided to release another series of drives, the Force GS, based upon it. Uh, you get 256 gigabytes total raw capacity, at least in this particular version, the 240 uh, gig model, uh, when formatted, because you do lose a little bit of capacity from formatting. Also, the Sandforce controller does use some of the NAND uh, for caching as well as for over provisioning, you end up with 224 gigabytes formatted capacity with this drive. Let's head over to the benchmark now, uh, I'm sorry, the test bed, and take a look at some benchmarks. Here's our first benchmark. We're running AS SSD, uh, which is an SSD specific benchmark. And in case you're wondering, all our system specs are over there on the right side. We're running a Core i7-3960X at stock. ASUS Sabertooth X79 motherboard connected the SSD as a separate individual non-boot drive to the C600 controller that's part of the X79 chipset and uh, our memory is running at 1866. So for AS SSD, our test results are here. This is the same test, just input output operations per second listed on the bottom and uh, the full megabytes per second listed up here on the top. Um, AS SSD uses incompressible data, which means that the Sandforce controller uh, can't compress the data, um, which means that typically with incompressible data tests, you don't see the 
same types of results that you would see, for instance, listed on the box. But don't worry, we still hit those with some of our other tests. But uh, overall score for AS SSD was 640. Uh, access times were 0 0.05 milliseconds for the read, 0.219 milliseconds for the write. So very fast. Uh, these are typical of a lot of SSD benchmarks. Uh, in particular, for our 4K 64-threaded tests, uh, we hit some pretty high input-output operations per second. 55,000 there on the read and uh, 18,000 on the write. Um, so there's sort of a, a baseline to start off with, with AS SSD. Next up, I'm going to pull up Crystal Disk Mark. And I actually ran this in two modes. So there's incompressible and compressible. And since, as mentioned, the uh, Sandforce, the LSI Sandforce controller uses compression. So here's the test without compression, comp compression available using incompressible data. So 508 megabytes per second on the read. So when it's trying to write here, since it can't compress the data, this is sort of the fa as fast as the memory itself can go. Um, when we actually feed it some compressible data, there's the two results side by side. So as you can see, the writes go way, way, way up um, from 286 to 510 when we can work with compressible data. Actually, the reads go down a little bit because you have to deal with reading compressible data as opposed to incompressible data there. Um, and then as you can see, again, really solid numbers here on the 4K tests. 4K tests are a really good uh, indication of sort of typical day-to-day -day, day -day computer use if you're buying this for a home computer. Uh, and then with Q depth of 32, which is uh, a synthetic test, but sort of to see how fast the drive can, can go, we see the raw results down here in input-output operations per second. So on our 4K Q depth 32 test, uh, we actually hit our 90,000 input-output operations per second results there. So that's nice. So that's one of the specs listed on the retail box. Next up, we have Atto. And this is a very popular... This, is, this uh, test has been around for quite some time. It's very popular with the actual um, manufacturers of SSDs. And uh, I ran it at Q-Depth 4 there on the left and at Q-Depth 10 on the right. And all the numbers are very down here, and they're very small. And you see a bunch of different listings because it does different transfer sizes, starting at 0 0.5 kilobytes, going all the way up to about 8 megabytes. Um, so uh, as you can see, as the numbers get bigger, the transfer sizes get bigger, the drive can perform better. Um, so for our Q-Depth 4 test here, which is about the most you're going to see uh, with home computing, um, we got up to around 540 megabytes per second on the right. And we hit uh, 516 megabytes per second on the read. When we upped it to Q-Depth 10 and fed it a little bit more data to crunch, uh, we got up to a max of, wait, I saw it here, 541, 540, so again, around 541 there on the right. And then our reads, uh, we hit up to 547. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the Corsair Force GS 240 Gigabyte SSD. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, you can head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.